Welcome back, everyone. So last we left off, we had finished putting in all of the holes for our windows and doors, as well as placing them all around the, uh, the level. So today is going to be really quick because uh, I really want you guys to go and have some fun doing this. It's not overly complicated either. So all you need to do, uh, well, yeah, today we're, we're going to be texturing, uh, so this, the, uh, the, 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 um, box, uh, God damn it, the, uh, geometry brushes. So, uh, I'm only going to do a few and you guys can do all the rest. And, uh, yeah. So basically all you need to do is go into your content browser and we're going to open up the objects, uh, the objects. So whoops, too far, uh, materials, instances, and then within here you have all your materials, right? It's, uh, it's not overly complicated like I said, and we're just going to go for something like uh, brick, and if you guys had followed the first tutorial, the, the first ones, I had said to kind of separate the top and the bottom, uh, and that's just so that we can make a different design for the bottom like a lot of houses actually do have so i'm going to start with the one up here and uh move down afterwards just so you guys can see so we are going to start with maybe something like uh hmm let's go for like more of a woody wall so wood let's pick something quick all right boom that one all right, so you have that selected, right? And you just drag it onto your material. And then before we actually go and duplicate it and whatnot, having the face selected over here in surface properties, you can start moving a few of these 45 degree angles. You can go 90 degrees if you want and whatnot. You can also uh, move around the, uh, the tiling of the texture, all right? And last but not least, you can scale the uh, texture. The only thing is you got to hit the apply button. All right, so once you have your size selected, just control C on your keyboard, control C, and have other faces selected by holding the control button. All right, and then just control and V. All right, so control C, control V. The only thing with this though is that it will recopy this one. So just press delete, all right? And if you just want proof, uh, I'm going to uh, just show you guys. So I have that selected, right? Press V. And if you see, if I move that guy, there's another piece. So just if you're gonna do that, uh, do it like one after the other you're gonna have many copies of the first one all right and then uh, that's really it the other thing is that if you take a copy like I said of like this one here and do like uh, let's just copy this and put it here all right that's all fine right but if you say copy that and go over there well it'll kind of like not register with the brush the uh, uh, subtractive subtractive brush so just uh, just remember to delete that last one or the first one actually and that's it so have fun texturing you guys and we'll be back in the next episode for uh, actual placement and maybe uh, we can start with the puzzle itself all right have a good one